Okay. Uh, my talk is uh, uh, basics uh, advance of the using Crusade. Uh, I will show the introduction for the, this lecture is uh, two parts. And one is the function of the Crusade, another one is the technique of the Crusade. And first of all, I would like to show the structure of the Crusade. I'm very famous the tool, this one. Okay, and uh, uh, please look at this picture. So this is a full or picture. So this crusade have the two uh, metal markers. And the, uh, please look at this one. Uh, this picture is uh, showing the, the detail of the tip. And from the tip, uh, the about five millimeter more proximal part and the exit of the all by the wire lumen are there. And the function of the crusade is uh, for, uh, maybe the uh, summary the three parts. And one is the delivery of the big angle curve wire. And the second one is that we can deliver and the second guide wire, beer, a fast wire loot. And last one is a backup. And especially the uh, Crusade specification, I would like to explain about this. Uh, uh, over the wire lumen structure is a double layer and not double tube. And, if, uh, the, uh, due to the, uh, this double tube, uh, we can get the good backup force and avoiding the kinking. And I'll show the technique of crusades and using the crusade, we can perform the many techniques. And I would like to explain about the more detail using the, um, um, another slide. First, the tips of the uh, side branch access. Uh, this technique is a, a very popular one and maybe that you know. So I would like to uh, say it there about the tips. And uh, I will give the three tips. One is a wire curve. And please make a big uh, wire curve. And there, uh, this, please look at the same uh, picture. This R means the diameter, diameter of the vessel. And plus uh, one, two, two, uh, one to 1.5 millimeter, and please make a uh, more bigger uh, curve. And uh, please uh, uh, they're, uh, making the uh, care about the position of the crusade. And maybe we have to do the try and error for the insertion of this guide wire. And please do the exploring the, from the distal side for the keeping the big cup. The second technique is the benefits of the uh, standard cross using crusades. And this one is uh, another very popular technique and uh, using the crusade. And uh, uh, the benefits is there uh, are three issues there. And one is the uh, keeping in a stand loot and like that. Uh, please look at this picture. And if this uh, dotted line get advanced to the uh, second guide wire, uh, maybe very easy to occur the stent uh, uh, fracture. And uh, after that, the uh, open the balloon at the, sec uh, at the side branch. And uh, the, benef the, uh, the benefit is keeping in a stent loot using the uh, crusade. And another one is the delivery of the big angle curve. And last one is the back up force for insertion via stand slot. And I show the actual case and uh, I perform the stand leg loss to, uh, to the second flex. And it's uh, already that this lesion is there uh, implanted a stand uh, from the left main trunk to the LAD. And uh, this second flex guide wire is a protection guide wire. And so in this time, and I, we try to insertion the additional guide wire to the sunken flex via standard slot. The steps, I will show the steps the standard cross. And the first step is that before insertion of the guide, uh, second guide wire and deliver crusade to this part of the bifurcation like that, like that. And uh, this is the key point for the uh, deliver the big curve guide wire and beyond the bifurcation. The second step is the guide wire shaping. Please make a shaping the uh, big angle and the diameter, basal diameter plus one point uh, one to one point five millimeter. And after that, and uh, pull back the crusade and uh, with keeping guide wire position. This is a very important uh, procedure. And uh, pull back the guide wire and and the insertion via stand slot. The third technique is a crusade stand boost. And due to the crusade two markers, I already explained about the uh, crusade structure. And uh, actually this crusade have the two markers. And due to the two markers, we can do perform the stand boost. The benefits in the, uh, performing the crusade stand boost is the confirming guide wire position 
at the stem strut. And uh, uh, fourth, liber, uh, fourth uh, technique is a reverse wire, uh, a little bit and advanced uh, technique. And so uh, maybe you know, but I would like to summarize the steps. Uh, please look at this uh, uh, schema. The steps in the first is a deliver for the guide wire to the be, uh, coronary vessel and the pull back the crusade like that, pull back the crusade and uh, with keeping guide wire position. And after that, pull back for the guide wire and maybe the automatically get advanced uh, this second guide wire to the side branch. And after that, take out the crusade and they're uh, exchanging the folded guide wire uh, to the new guide wire using a single aluminum microcasseter. And how to do the preparation of the reverse guide wire and the steps, I show the steps. Uh, please look at this uh, uh, figure. Uh, one is uh, uh, please prepare the uh, polymer jacket guide wire and I prefer to use a sealed black guide wire and the, uh, uh, the, the reason why is the polymer jacket have a good lubricity. The second step is a making folding part and from the tip and the length is a 2, uh, 2 to 4 centimeter. And set up the second guide wire out of the guiding and the insertion into the wire connector. This is the preparation of the reverse guide wire, but we have another option for the preparation. Uh, the how to do that, the using side branch and we call the streamline reverse wire technique. Already published uh, uh, the, this technique via the uh, CCI. And uh, please look at this picture. Uh, this is the LED region and this uh, dotted line uh, vessel is a uh, diagonal branch. Uh, this is a uh, DM branch. And the, uh, this branch is a septal branch. The first step, the insertion to the uh, bending, uh, bended guide wire to the septal. And after that, and please push the this crusade microcatheter and automatically and we can uh, make the uh, reverse bent guide wire in the coronary. And the, uh, when we perform the reverse guide wire technique, we have to the, uh, think about the uh, guide wire shape. The sharp versus uh, round shape. Please look at this uh, uh, shimmer. And the upper line that I show the sharp curve. The sharp curve, sharp curve is like that. But on the other hand, round curve is like that. That this part is looks like a round. And what is the benefit of the sharp curve? Is there superior in system delivery? The very easy the, uh, the deliver. Uh, due to the, uh, this shape cup and compare with round cup. But on the other hand, if the sharp cup is uh, already bended and after that we perform the reverse guide wire and yes, and we have to the change to the uh, new guide wire, uh, but sometimes very difficult to get advanced to the uh, micro cassette additionally. But on the other hand, we you use the round cup, very easy to the deliver. Uh, this uh, this additional microcasita like that. And we have to think about the uh, uh, shape curve or the round curve, which is, which is better. I usually uh, try to the, uh, using round curve at first. And if it's a bit difficult to deliver, I, I would like to change to the shape curve. This is my, uh, my method. I should uh, how about the guiding and the guiding size and the guiding shape and the success rate. This is one of the good paper and for the con and uh, uh, for the uh, and the, and for the uh, crusade uh, reverse wire technique. And uh, please look at this uh, one. And uh, so from the, this paper, and the seven French the ratio is very higher compared with the uh, six French about fifty two percent. And how about the guiding shape? Is that maybe we we have to prepare about the backup force type guiding. Maybe the, uh, we need a good backup force and for the deliver the, this uh, bus guide wire system. Now how about the successful rate? So actually the, this uh, paper is uh, corrected uh, 23 uh, cases and it's a very small number, but a very amazing with a, a very high ratio of the success and about 96% is success. 
I'll show the another paper. This is uh, another good uh, paper for the considering the uh, reverse wire technique. And please look at uh, this uh, uh, figure and uh, uh, please look, uh, look at this one. So we have to uh, think about the Karina angle, Karina angle. And the excess 19 degree angle, and so maybe that this bifurcation is very suitable for the performing the reverse guide wire technique, uh, like that. And how about the success rate is very high ratio. Uh, actually, the, a few number actually from the, this paper is a uh, 12 cases, but 100% success. And I'll show the, uh, the reverse wire technique, actual procedure. Uh, this is uh, uh, and the one, 110 and uh, 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 bifurcation region. We can see the left main trunk region. We can see the uh, osteal area region like that. And the angle is the excess 19 degree. And uh, in this time, the I perform the reverse wire. And I will show the steps and uh, uh, deliver and the uh, folded guide wire to the second flex like that. Actually, I, and, uh, I chose the seven flex guiding and sometimes we need a good backup force for the deliver of this system. And then so I pull back the crusade, the keeping this guide wire position. That's only the pull back crusade like this. And after that, pull back for the guide wire and automatically get advanced to the, uh, this LED. And so in, in this time, I chose the uh, seam block and polymer jacket guide wire and I consider about the lubricity and get at the bounce like that, more, more distal part. And then so I uh, take a crusade and extend for the guide wire and to the new, uh, uh, new guide wire using the uh, micro -cassiter. And the fifth uh, par, uh, technique is a parallel guide wire technique. The benefits is the tracking fast wire loop. And it, uh, please look at this picture. And is that this fast guide wire and the get advanced the correct way and from the approximate part of the CTO, we have to the purchase, we have to the trace the, this fast guide wire loot at the proximal site. Very easy way to the, uh, using the crusade power guide wire technique, we can perform the, this purchase. And another one is the strong backup force, and this is the benefits, and we can perform the coaxial manipulating. And, 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 uh, and I, I will show that this uh, and the in vitro and the in vitro test. Uh, this one, uh, uh, this slide is show the evaluation of the guide wire support. Uh, this uh, orange line is a single lumen. And uh, uh, this uh, graph is a show the horizontal line, the length of the guide wire adva uh, and uh, advancement. And the vertical line is a pushing force and the upper is a higher and then the downward is the lower. And uh, this orange line shows the single lumen microcassiter and get at the balance of this guide wire more distal and using uh, this single lumen, and very easy to occur the flexor that this microcassita. In this time, the, the pushing force is uh, down and compared with the crusade. And I'll show the actual number, ground force, that using the crusade. So this, and in this time, so we check the uh, pushing force using the Gaia first. Now, if we use a crusade, it's a 3.7 to the 3.8 ground force. But on the other hand, the if that we use the single room microcassiter is a compare with a crusade, very weak the pushing force. I'll show the uh, evaluation of the coaxial manipulating. And the, uh, the, uh, the upper one is a we, I, and I show the crusade picture uh, in vitro model. And uh, this one is a, in the, the using the single room microcassiter, very easy to occur the flexor. The crusade is maintaining the coaxial position toward CTO region. And I'll show the actual case. This is RCA CTO. We can see the CTO region is the middle part of RCA. And there, uh, in this time, I choose an uh, external guide wire as a first guide wire for the negotiation the CTO region. And but unfortunately, this guide wire get out of the sub intimate space. And then so I decided to the, uh, perform the crusade uh, parallel guide wire technique. And uh, due to the uh, par uh, crusade parallel guide wire technique, uh, we can get a uh, good backup force and uh, uh, good coaxial position. And even if I choose the JR4, but uh, in this time I get a good backup force. 
And the actual uh, correct root is the uh, upper word compared with the first guide wire. And finally, and, uh, and I can get advanced to this uh, guide first wire to the correct way to the uh, true lumen like this. And I show the last uh, technique. This one is a Crusader side branch backup. Now I already uh, explained about uh, uh, if we use a single lumen microcatheter for the CTO region, very easy to occur the flexor, very easy to occur, uh, occur the movement of the microcatheter position. But on the other hand, Crusade is uh, uh, the position is uh, fixed. And uh, due to the, uh, using the Crusade uh, uh, side branch backup system, we can get strong backup force and, uh, and uh, uh, we can perform the coaxial manipulating. I showed the actual case. This is uh, I did a CTO, and uh, this CTO uh, from the beginning, the after part of LAD. And uh, I decided to perform the Crusade uh, side, uh, side branch backup system. And I insertion the, uh, the conventional guide wire to the second place, and additionally, I get the master Crusade, and I insertion to the CTO guide wire. Uh, for this system, uh, we can get a book, a good about force, and we can perform the coaxial manipulating. And I show the special uh, technique. And this one is a crusader side branch back uh, with uh, balloon anchoring. Uh, this uh, we can see is uh, as a CTO from the beginning like that. And in this time, there are I, in, I, I, I insertion the conventional guide wires and two guide wires uh, to the, uh, this cone branch, one guide wire for the uh, crusade. Another one is a balloon trapping. And after that, balloon trapping, that we can get very, very good back and forth like that. I, I will show the, uh, another uh, and advancing the uh, technique and uh, using the crusader side branch and with IBUS guided. And please look at this one. And the advanced system is uh, using double room and micro catheter for the IBUS guided entry. And due to the double room and micro catheter gave us good back and forth and the prevention for the progressing of the guide wire like that, we look at the shim, and I will show the actual case. And this is the CTO, and the, uh, this uh, uh, guide wire get advanced to the uh, side branch, a big septal branch. And uh, I, added, I inserted uh, uh, and the IBUS, and additionally, I inserted uh, uh, the Crusade. And after that, we can get good back and forth. The, for the performing the this and the IBUS guided entry, the, uh, we have the tips. Uh, please do the uh, closer branch and the, the CTO region is better. And uh, uh, after that, actually this region is very, very hard and I escalated the guide wire up the Conquest Pro 12. And uh, but uh, we can uh, uh, confirm the time standing also later this guide wire position looks like uh, this guide wire position be in the intimate plaque. The another problem is how to remove the crusade. And so my recommendation, please perform the balloon trapping for the fixing the guide wire position. And if you use the six French guiding, and, uh, pre and I, I recommend that uh, please use a, a, de a designated trapping button like a, a Kaneka Kusabi. And if we, you use a seven French or the eight French, the, uh, my recommendation the, and uh, please use the designated or the conventional button. The size is uh, more than 2.5 millimeter, my, my recommendation. And, uh, and I will give the attention and uh, please care about the air contamination when we move the devices. I take a message. And the, uh, the crusade function is the one in the delivery of a big angle curve. And the second one is the delivery of the second wire via first wire loot. And another one that is a backup course. And especially the Crusade specification is over the wire structure is double layer and not double tube. And uh, due to the uh, double tube, we can get good backup force and avoiding kinking. And uh, using the Crusade, we have the many techniques. Please perform the ZS techniques. Thank you for attention.